This morning, police are searching for a New Bedford man. They say had a hoarding type situation with 21 dogs in his apartment. They were found in unsanitary conditions without access to food or water. Now a local business is stepping up to help give them a better life. Sophia Zabo joins us live in studio with how you can help. Good morning, Kate. Christopher's in Fall River tells us when they saw this horrific story, they knew they had to do something. That's why they are donating all of their coffee sales and 25% of their food sales to the shelter that has taken in these dogs. And the shelter says they aren't in good condition. Getting them care is going to cost thousands of dollars. That's why the owners of Christopher's are actually taking another step beyond. We are adopting. Um, it's a dog. Her name is uh, Posey um, and she has a broken leg. So uh, we're going to foster her first, um, and then she's actually going to get her leg amputated. Posey and another 20 dogs were discovered after neighbors alerted officers to barking in a pungent odor coming from this apartment on Myrtle Street. They say the dogs were kept in dirty cages inside an attic where it was over 100 degrees. Some of them could not walk properly because their nails were overgrown. Animal control officers say the owner, 35 year old Derek Ambrose, ran away when they tried to speak with him. This turned very quickly from an animal abuse investigation to a drug investigation, and we've managed uh, to put the whole package together. And right now he's looking at uh, 39 separate charges for just what happened uh, on this day, consisting of animal, uh, animal cruelty charges, animal neglect, and the narcotics charges. If you know where Derek Ambrose is, you are urged to call New Bedford Police. In the meantime, Christopher's is raising money throughout the end of the day today. And if you can't make it to Fall River, they have ways you can actually donate virtually. In studio, Sophia Zabo, 12 News.